Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. For the month of July, I am going to not only show you my big coloring book haul, but from here on out, I am also going to show you the coloring supplies um, that I have accumulated during the month. Um, I used to only do my coloring books, but I see most all the other coloring channels also show their coloring supplies, and I know I myself love to see those. So I asked in last month's video if you'd like to see my supplies too, along with the books, and the answer was pretty much an overwhelming yes. So from here on out at the end of the month, I will be also showing the supplies that I got during the month. So first up, I am going to show some Happy Man. Now some things that I'm going to show today, I may have actually purchased before July, but I didn't show them on my channel until this past month. So I'm going to include everything that I've shown on my channel during that month for that month's haul, if that makes any sense, as well as coloring books. Now, some of the books that I'm going to show you in this haul, you won't have seen complete flip throughs of. They are recorded, but they will be up on the channel throughout this next week. Okay, so starting with Happy Mail, I received this pencil case from Tamila, I think that's how it's pronounced, or Tamila. I am so sorry. Um, I did show this happy mail on uh, my channel, um, but this is Quan Shan, I think, Diamond Painting Series, Want to Be a Dream Maker. Um, and this is a 260 slot pencil case. And I don't have anything in it yet, but I think my color soft uh, pencils are going to be going in here. Haven't made the color chart yet, so they're not in order, and that's why this is empty yet. But it's going to come in very, very handy. So I thank you very much to Tamila <laughs> uh, for that. And also... In that Happy Mail video, I shown you this. Now this is the, it's a wooden uh, organizer. Um, I did get it put together. This is from Gemma um, Calamari, I think. And uh, so I did get it together. And this is what it looks like. Now this is so neat because it does have this little drawer down here. And I didn't fill it up yet because I wanted to show it put together like this. But what I'm going to be putting in here, I'm going to put like some of my um, sticky notes here and things that I need to access when I am doing videos. And then in these slots, I think I'm going to be putting in things that I have in my desk drawer, uh, coloring enhancing type gel pens like my like white pascas and my white Sakura jelly rolls and uh, you know just things like that um, so that I'll have easy access to them and then not quite sure what I'm going to be putting in here yet. But yes, this is going to be going up on my desk where I will have easy access to it. So this is going to come in really handy also. Really love it. So thank you again to Gemma for this. Now, a most recent Happy Mail. And you won't have seen this yet when this video goes up, but again... This video has been recorded. You'll see it this next week. Oh my gosh, where did I put it? Hmm. Okay, it's it's here somewhere. Uh, as big as my desk is, <laughs> it's actually hard to 
I wonder if I put it up with all my coloring books. Yes, I did. Nothing like being prepared. From Lauren, with uh, from uh, Lauren Loves Color, I got this beautiful Alina Lazareva Grayscale Coloring Book. This is the 100 Best, and this is Part 2. So, yeah, I did a complete flip through of the Happy Mail video of these two items because she also sent me the Pentel Sparkle Pop uh, gel pen. She knows how I love my dual metallic gel pens. So, this is so exciting. I love these. So, thank you again to Lauren. And again, this Happy Mail video will be up this coming week. All right, let me put those to the side. Then a couple of smaller items. i had been hearing how nice the Karen Dosh, the new Karen Dosh blenders are. Uh, I did have a one of the full uh, pencil blenders and I didn't really care for it. Um, so I never really used it. But I've been hearing really good things about the pencil version that they just came out with. So I went ahead and I ordered a set of two of these from Dick Blick and they came in this past month. Haven't had a chance to use them yet so looking forward to that. And then, because I want to get into using my stencils more for doing backgrounds, I had seen on a different channel, and I'm, I apologize, don't remember which channel it was. I have a problem with holding my stencil still <laughs> when I'm using, say, my pan pastels or something for the background. They came out with, or they have this spray, it's called Pixie Spray, and it's light tack repositional adhesive for stencils and so i thought oh this should work great um according to her uh again whatever channel that was on um she loves this stuff so now many of the items that i'm showing you i have shown in past videos like the pencils that i'm going to show you um, things like that so i'm not going to leave links to those items all the links are in the videos that are up on my channel however these couple of things that i show you that i do not have linked in past videos i'll go ahead and leave links to these items in case you are interested in them so I'm also going to again mention because I've been getting additional questions on what pencil sharpener I use for the brute funers, especially the square brute funers, because they don't fit in your normal pencil sharpener. And that's why I bought this one. And this is the AFMAT. There's a number of different versions of the AFMAT pencil sharpeners. I really like this one. It is adjustable as far as how sharp of a tip you want. And because of this type of top, it fits both your standard color pencil sizes and the larger ones, including the square brute hooners. I have sharpened a ton of Prismacolor pencils in this, and I did not have a single one break on me. Um, as well as the Brute Funers. The only time I had a tip break on me was when I sharpened it to a very sharp point, which I shouldn't do, and I was doing my color charts, and I do my color charts, I press quite hard, and yeah, so I would snap off the tip, not the pencil sharpener. So I will again leave a link to the AFMAT pencil sharpener that I like to use, and another good thing about it is it is... Uh, rechargeable. So with a USB port plugged in, you just recharge it rather than um, having to continuously put batteries in it or keep it plugged in. I like it because it's really portable for when I do things in the living room. So yeah, love this pencil sharpener. 
Okay, let's put this stuff on the side. With some of my big projects that I've been talking about that I've been working on, I've been going through a ton of my um, Tombow dual-sided sticky, uh, not glue, what do you call it, tape. Um, so I bought another set of three uh, refills for my Tombow uh, double-sided glue tape, I guess it's called. Um, love my Sargent Art glitter gel pens. Use them a lot along with my Divicle dual metallics. They're my two go-tos. The reason why I like the Sargent Arts, after you get the 10-pack, you can buy every single one of those colors in bulk. So I always make sure I have plenty of each color on hand. I was almost out of the blue, so I ordered another bulk pack of blue. There's 24 gel pens in here. I wish, I really wish they would just come out with refills instead of another whole entire pen. <laughs> you know, it would save throwing the whole pen out you know, just wasting plastic, throwing more things in the garbage. Um, so, yeah, I wish they would, but they don't. But it is nice, really nice that they do come out with bulk uh, in every color. You can also, there's 24 set, you can also get them in 96 set. <laughs> if you really like a certain color and use it a lot, um, I did actually get a large set of the silver in the past because if you've been with my channel for any length of time, you know that I use my silver gel pens for all of my color Questopia books and I outline them first before coloring them in. So I do use a lot of the silver. So I will leave a link to these down below too. If you click on that link, you can find all the other colors then in bulk also if you're interested in that. Um, another thing I got this past month because they were on a super duper lightning deal um, is another set of the Shuttle Arts. These are like the Tau Trees, which I love and I also love the Shuttle Arts. These are the thin barrel markers. So the bullet tip is finer than your normal alcohol marker, and these are alcohol. And the chisel tip is really teeny tiny. These work awesome for color by number, <laughs> especially the color by numbers that have a little bit smaller areas. So, yeah, I thought, oh, it was just such a fantastic deal. Couldn't pass it up. So, I do have a backup set of these. And I will link these down below. I'm sure the lightning deal is off, but they're still a fantastic marker. Hope I remember to link all this stuff. <laughs> this past month, I also did show... My first set of Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. Um, just to try them out, I did get the portrait assortment, which is the uh, 20 part of the 20 new colors that uh, Luminance came out in. So it is the set of 20. And there's actually 24 new colors. And then the other four colors you have to purchase separately. So I got these from, <laughs> I forgot again, it's not Dick Blick or Jerry's or Jackson, maybe it was Jackson. Anyhow, <laughs> go back and uh, watch my swatching video of these. There was a link down in the description if it's still available, I'm not sure, where you get the 20 set and the four additional as a pack. So you get all 24 new colors as a set. Otherwise, you have to purchase these four separately. And I will be getting these in a case. case. And yeah, I can see uh, the 76 set in my future. Because <laughs> I really like them. Um, 
All right, I'll have to save up for those though. I purchased a new clipboard. I didn't like the one that I had. I had just had a cheap one from Target and the clip on top kept making indents in my paper and I even put masking tape and stuff to try to uh, uh, not have it do that and yeah. I just didn't care for it so I seen this one um, and it also had a 20% off at the time. Isn't that pretty? The thing I really like is it's a portfolio also. So you have the folder in here. I use this all the time for doing color charts. Um, so I stick um, the one that I'm working on um, in here. Any additional copies and then you have your legal pad over here. Have a place to put a pen. I don't do that, but you know, if you take this on the go, that's a nice feature. So I will link this down below too. Absolutely love it. So it was a good purchase. I had seen these on, I believe it was Michelle from Kits and Caboodles. These are magazine holders and I did not use them yet because I knew, oops, sorry for the noise. I knew I was going to be showing them at the end of the month, but do you see a theme with the galaxy going on here? <laughs> I love it. I love the colors. Um, what I thought I would put in here, because right now I just kind of have them braced up with bookends is my completed books and then also any PDFs that I have printed out and I thought they could go in here. And this folds down oops the other way and snaps together and then you know after you snap it the correct way and then, yeah, I can put my completed books in here and whatnot or any other types of books and things that I want to keep up on the top of my bookshelf. So, yeah, I thought these would come in handy also. So, I will link these down below also. Let's see, what else do I have here? I did show... Let's see if I can grab these. All four sets <laughs> of the Brute Fooner. Oh, one moment. I'm going to go close my door. Okay. Um, the four different sets of the Brute Fooner colored pencils. So if you haven't seen uh, that video that just went up live on my channel not too long ago this past week. Um, the square brute fooners, the two sets of rounds and they look very different. These are the 180 sets and then they also have a 180 set of watercolor pencils. So I did a comparison of all of these and I showed a sample coloring um, in a coloring book on Amazon paper to show how each of these pencils actually color in a coloring book because so many of ours um, are on Amazon paper, right? So, actually purchased these a while ago, but um, I was working on the color charts and whatnot, so the video finally went up this past month. Let me get these back on the floor. Okay, another set of pencils that I actually purchased a long, long time ago, like mm, over a year ago, um, before I even moved into this house. These have been sitting under my desk for a long time. I finally got to swatching them out. These are the pencils that are going to be going in that pencil case that uh, Tamila um, so kindly sent to me. Um, I have not had a chance to even work on the color charts. Uh, I'm going to be combining all of the different sets that 
come in all of these tins into one color chart. So yeah, got my work cut out for me in regard to that. So I am working on a number of other color charts before I get to these. But this is also a video that was um, I put up on my channel this last month. So I thought I would include that in my coloring haul for this month even though they were purchased a long time ago. Okay, following the Brute Fooner colored pencils, I purchased this absolutely humongo, I think the largest I have ever seen, pencil case. It's by Shoelaner, Shoelaner. Um, our colorful world. Isn't this pretty? It's kind of like a carry-on suitcase. You do have a nice zippered pocket in the back. You do get the handle and you do get the shoulder strap, which I never use. So kind of just toss them to the side. Um, they advertise this on Amazon as holding 480. But when I counted the slots, and they typically count uh, three pencils per slot, they're a little snug with three, but they do fit. And you can see they're dual layered here. I actually counted 540. I bought this because I have the 520 Brute Fooners on the way. I was supposed to have them mm, quite a while ago and I keep getting the runaround. I ordered them on AliExpress about a month ago and they are opening a shop on Amazon US so that the 520 set of Brute Fooners will again be available on Amazon. But because of COVID and shipping restrictions and trying to get them in the shop here in the States and whatnot, keeps getting put off. So I keep getting told next week, next week, next week. Yeah. So I was thinking about canceling that order. I found another seller on AliExpress that had a very similar price because I got a really good price on the 520 sets. Some of the 520 sets on Amazon, on AliExpress are atrociously overpriced. Some of them are, you know, over $200 for the 520. Don't pay that. <laughs> They're not worth that. Um, they are nice pencils, but so yeah, I've had this uh, sitting over there for a few weeks, uh, just waiting <laughs> for that 520 set. So yeah, this, yeah, like I said, it's a humongo pencil case, but it's going to be so nice. I, I originally was going to split them into two pencil cases because they come in two sets of 260. And I thought, ah, I don't really want to do that. So I um, did find this pencil case. Um, and I thought, yep, we're going to go with this. Even though it's kind of big and bulky, it'll be nice to have them all in one case. So I will also link this down below if you are looking for a Gigundo pencil case. This also would work great for a large set of markers. I love these pencil cases that have the larger bands for the three pencils because you can fit one of your markers, um, especially like uh, fine liners, the narrow alcohol markers like the um, shuttle arts that I shown earlier. These fit in one of these loops really nicely. So your typical marker case, the loops are too big for those and for fine liners and whatnot. So these bands work great. So if you have a larger set, um, this would work great for that also. Okay, what is next? I love this pencil case too. Um, there's goods and bads between the pencil case with only one zipper. It is so nice to have only the one zipper, right? <laughs> Versus this type that have at least three, if not four, depending on the size. 
different zippers. Um, the one thing though I don't like about the one zipper is the very first and very last layer. It's kind of hard to get your pencils out because of this. So like I said, goods and bads to both. So I have a number of pencil cases with the one zipper like this and I also have a number like this. So I use both of them. But I did just purchase this pencil case. I will also link this one down below. It comes in a number of different patterns like most pencil cases do. And this holds another set of pencils that I just shown on my channel this past month. That is the, all of the Black Widow sets. I do have the color chart completed now finally um, where I put all the sets together in color order. Um, my color order anyhow. Uh, everybody likes theirs in a, in a different order but this is what I came up with so fits in here really really nice. So there's a total of 144 in here I believe. Um, and again, it's the Shoe Laner brand. So, if you're interested in Black Widows, again, that video is live on my channel. I'll re-zip that up later. What else do I have? Told you this is going to be a longer video. Um, oh yeah, I did also swatch out and this also is on my channel, the Stardroy 120 set colored pencils. I do not have the color chart made yet for these either, hence they are not in a pencil case. Um, I do have a pencil case um, that I swapped out for a different pencil case, whatever, um, but I do have a pencil case that these will be going in as soon as uh, yeah I have a color chart because I don't like to put them in the pencil case until I have the color chart done so I know what I all have to do yet. <laughs> so very very nice nice pencils I really like them. All right so I also received well, let's save that. I'll, I'll show that with the coloring books themselves. Um, these next items I normally would not have purchased. Um, but number one, I have been seeing so many coloring channels using the Distress Inks or the Distress Oxides. Uh, Tim Holtz's from Ranger. And I still, you know... I was just, eh, should I get them? Should I not? And I was holding off because they are quite expensive. And do I really need the large ones? No, if anything, I would have just needed the minis. However, I couldn't pass up this deal. <laughs> um, a couple weeks ago, I, I don't even know how it caught my eye. I was on Michael's uh, website for something else. These were on clearance for a buck a piece, a dollar. A couple of them were a buck ninety nine, um, but yeah, a lot. I would say over half of them were a dollar, and then a few of them were a dollar ninety nine. I did purchase one at full price, which I think was five ninety nine, and of course it was the purple. So yes, uh, wilted violet. So I'm not sure how many colors are in this line. I'm sure somebody can let me know that down in the description below. Um, and then when I went to Michael's to pick up the order that I originally was on the website for, I seen this and this was 50% off and it's the storage case for these. However, even the ones that I have now don't fit. Um, I think it fits 16 or something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. And I have 16. <laughs> so, 
not sure if I'm going to continue with the storage system. I really like it. So maybe I'll just buy another case. And if I find any more of these on sale somewhere, either Michael's or wherever, um, I think I'll be adding some colors. So what I did then on Amazon, um, because these were not on sale at Michael's, is some of the blending tools. I do have the brushes that I know a lot of people use with these, um, but I thought I also wanted to get some of these. Um, I did have a number of these in the past with a bunch of the little ones and I gave them away. <laughs> now I could kick myself for doing that, but that's okay. I know they went to a good home. So yeah, these I got on Amazon and I'm sure everybody is familiar with these items. So yeah, like I said, it, it was a deal. I just couldn't pass up. Okay, is that all of the supplies? I think so. Okay, so I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm going to get the coloring books out. So I will be right back. I'm back. A couple of other items I forgot to mention. I bought this nice soft brush. It's by Nuvo. Um, and it is, I'm not sure if it's specifically made for colored pencil. That is what I'm going to be using it for though to get, you know, when you're, coloring with colored pencil a lot of time you get little pieces on your page um, so I figured this is a nice wide one nice and soft um, I again seen this on another individual's channel um, and I thought oh that is very nice so I will link that down below also the last thing as far as supplies um, another thing that was on a lightning deal is this pad. I've gotten questions on this. All this is is a Gigundo mouse pad. Um, so yeah, it's just, and I, ah, you know me and this type of pattern. Before I always had this and I got questions on this also. Um, this is actually a door sticker. <laughs> it's for on like a bedroom door. Comes in two pieces and that's why you see this line. And Bob and I had a heck of a time getting this laid down straight so that it matched up and you know not as many bubbles as possible and there still were a gazillion in here. And the reason why I'm putting this over the top, this is getting very scratched up. The edge is getting all wore off. Um, so I don't know if at some point in time I'm going to try to possibly take this off. I don't know. I may just leave it on. It's nice and colorful. But yeah, love my mat. <laughs> I'll link this down below also. Um, uh, again, I'm sure it's not on that lightning deal uh, like I had gotten it for, but um, still really nice. And again, comes in lots and lots of different patterns. A couple of other items that I did purchase that I didn't bring down though is I had gotten a floor. Again, these were on fantastic deals. Um, a floor model of both an iPad holder and a floor model of um, lighting. This is for upstairs in my diamond painting room. Currently, or what I used to have was clip-ons on the, the top of my drafting table. But when I work on large diamond paintings, I always start in the top and then I work my way down so that the diamond painting goes over the top of the drafting table with, with clip-on uh, items like my light that I had and my iPad holder. Yeah, my diamond paintings couldn't go up over the top. So I purchased floor models of the iPad holder and the light. And the light comes with a remote control and everything. So love it. If anybody's interested in those, let me know. I... Well, I suppose I can throw links down below for those too. Mine as well, right? Um, so yeah, everything that I haven't showed this past month as far as supplies, I'll try to remember to link everything down below. As far as the books, all of these books you will have seen um, in flip throughs. Again, a few of them are new and you will be seeing the flip throughs this next week. 
So one of the new ones that you will see this next week is Magical Artifacts. This is the newest color by number book from Such and Such Deva. And yes, it is so cute. Um, not super simple, but yet not very intricate either. Um, it's just right. <laughs> so really looking forward to coloring in that one. Another brand new one, Sally Berry's newest book called Bloom. This is a simpler book of all flowers. Really, really pretty. Another new one that you will see this next week, 52 Unique Mindfulness Mandalas. Um, one thing that I pointed out in the video is there is no illustrator name anywhere in this book, um, but I did point out in the video on Amazon, it is by Reuben Arthur Hemmings and Edward Merlin um, Hemmings. So look for that flip through. And finally, another new book. This is by Kira Shersneva. She has a new color by colors coloring book out. This one is called Tender Mandalas. And this one I'm going to put to the side because I cannot wait to color out of this one. It is awesome. So yeah, that one's going on a separate pile. Um, okay, I had a set of three of these. The other two must be down in the stack. Oh yeah, here they are. I had put this one on the side because I wanted to color out of this one too. Um, I shown three of these dots book. These are by Laura Wokel. And this one, yeah, this one really looks neat. And I purchased the one on black background. These all come in white and black. And she has more than just these uh she's got a lot more one is cupcakes um she has dinosaurs um i did purchase the insects in both white and black just to see you know which one i would like better and i do prefer the black background i think more so than the white but the white is really neat also so again those are by laura wokel video up on my channel under the flip throughs playlist um, one of the newer books out uh, by bright ideas paper these next couple of books are now by under a new company called cactus girl so not jennifer rowling and not husky wanna fly which are bright ideas other two companies that they publish for um, this one is by cactus girl and these are circles so I haven't colored out of here yet. There are answers in the back and they look absolutely adorable and follows their standard color palette, I believe. So another one that they just put out. This is again by Cactus Girl. Um, another color by Numbers Circles. Now I wish, as I stated in that flip throughs playlist, I wish they would put like a book one and book two or volume one and volume two because they're both just called color by numbers circles so and the last one is uh, again by cactus girl this one is flowers color by numbers this one is squares and they're different sizes on the page so you have your teeny tiny three by three. Some of these look to be four by four and some even larger than that, that are maybe five by five, like that one. So yeah, again, following their standard color palette. So this is one I'm gonna put on the side also because I want to color out of that one. Color Cut came out with a new book called Chubby's Chubby Animal Summer Fun. Flip through is up on my playlist. This thing is just adorable. We have all these chubby, chubby animals. <laughs> oh, look at this. It is so cute. Look at that chubby bunny. <laughs> so yeah, adorable. 
I was sent this one. It's What Animals Are Thinking. Again, very funny coloring book. And this one was is by Lydia May. And yeah. <laughs> oh, just want to give you a big hug. Uh, my legs itch. I mean, yeah, it's it's hilarious. Very, very funny. <laughs> Color Questopia's newest, well, shouldn't say newest because they probably have a newer one out by now. Oh, I think they did just publish a new one. Uh, this one is stained glass and it is gorgeous. Oh, I love this book. I have outlined um, one, didn't get a chance to color it in yet. So again, this is going on a separate pile to color in. <laughs> And Delva Family came out with book number four in their Stone Mosaic line. I know there are many, many people who love this line of books. I also do. I just haven't had a chance to color out of them much. So I am going to get out book one. Start from there, right? Start from the beginning. Another book that came out by Jennifer Rowling, I believe. Yes. Um, is 50 cartoon characters. Again, this is the color by number in the square format. They have a color color palette on the bottom. States the color over here. Now this is one of theirs that does follow the Prismacolor marker colors. Now if you have the Prismacolor markers, this is absolutely fantastic, right? Um, many of us do not have these, however. So it is a large color palette, but again, you don't have to match them exactly. However, one thing that is nice is they do give you the actual palette here. Um, so, it's sorted by color group. Um, some of these colors, you know, you're probably going to use the same color for, or you may have to pull from multiple sets of, say, fine liners or water-based markers or, you know, alcohol markers, whatever you're going to use. But with the very tiny squares, alcohol markers may spread over the, the lines. But I do love this book, and I, I did color something in here can't remember which one. I believe I shown it last month in what I colored. Uh, of course, I can't find it right now, but yeah, another fun book by Jennifer Rowling. And Special Art sent me this. This is one of their later books. They have now come out with a couple more, um, and I am going to be having one sent to me. I'll be showing that on my channel in August. This one is 100 Tattoos, so it is a very thick book. This is Volume 2, so there is a 100 Tattoos Volume 1, and now they have Volume 2. Even if you don't care for tattoos, there are, you know, there's just a wide variety of art in this book. I mean, they're beautiful images. So again, may not care for tattoos, but really nice pictures. Again, flip through on my playlist. Here is a set of four books, all by the same company. It is, you know, some of my favorites. It's the Dots, Lines, and Spirals. And these are all by Relaxation Coloring Book. One, oh, it's one color publishing. So I did do this one in here. This one is Animal Friendship. So here we have a kitty and a dog. So this, these are uh, items that will be going in my, what I colored this month. So maybe I shouldn't show them. Um, this one is Pets, Dots, Lines, and Spirals. Here are some of the answers. But yeah, all three types of coloring. Another one is cute dogs. So, as the name implies, all dogs in here. Ooh, look at the husky. So I did do one out of each of these books. 
And this one is Baby Animals. Oh, this book is so cute. Look at those. I mean, yes. Baby animals, I don't care what animal it is. When it's a baby, it's adorable. <laughs> so I did do one out of that book also. Then we have flowers, dots, lines, and spirals. This is all part of a huge haul of dots, lines, and spirals. So if you're interested in these books, that's the video that you can look for. Huge haul of dots, lines, and spirals books or something like that. Again, in my flip throughs playlist. So I did do one in here also. So yeah, again, you have all three types of pictures in here of all flowers. Then we have some specialty, if you want to call them that. Very specific type of dots, lines, and spirals. This is the Big Bang Theory. I am a huge lover of this show and was so disappointed when they quit making it and stopped the show. My favorite sitcom ever. Along with Everybody Loves Raymond. That was my favorite. <laughs> Then we have Care Bears. Who's heard a herd of Care Bears? Takes me back, I'll tell you. <laughs> My kids, when they were little, loved Care Bears. So, yes, so cute. Finding Nemo. Another movie. Absolutely loved. So, again, more dots, lines, and spirals and then frozen yes loved that movie too that's one of maddie's favorites my granddaughter and then of course you can't forget sesame street <laughs> so again all dots lines and spirals Okay, enough of those, at least for now. I may have more. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Another new Sally Berry book this past month, Expanded Collection 125 Patterns. So, yes, big book. <laughs> but, yeah, all kinds of patterns in here. Isn't that cool? All right. Um, another new book by Bell, the family. Love this one. This one was dedicated to Misty. Oh my gosh, Misty. I'm sorry, I forgot your last name. Um, but her favorite animals are, or favorite things to color are unicorns and mermaids. So Bell, the family created a book dedicated to her. She's very active in the coloring community and she also loves her Belba family books. So this is another one in the Mystery Mosaics, these three by three uh, square coloring books. And yes, I colored a couple out of here already. So we do have uh, another couple of new books. You won't have seen flip throughs of these yet. Um, the next few books uh, are new. You'll see them this next week. Um, one of my subscribers pointed these books out to me and was wondering what they were like. So I went ahead and purchased them and I thought, eh, if I really don't like them, I can always return them, right? This one is Cute Unicorns, Dots, Lines, Spirals, and Hearts. Now they're just in heart shape, um, but they are still lines. So, so we do have the lines, the spirals, um, and then here's a heart one. But again, it is just lines. Now the thing about these two books is they are a little bit more difficult because the lines are very thin. So it probably would need fine liners. Um, like the unique spirals in here, and I pointed this out in the flip through, it is a spiral, but it is also lines because it doesn't curve around as a circle. There are lines that go around, so I thought that was kind of neat. And then also famous, 50 famous cartoon characters. No dots, no lines. These are all spirals. 
and I didn't get a chance to color out of these yet but it looked really cute so I am not going to return this. Um, a number of Coco Wyo books that I just purchased and again the flip throughs of these three books will be up next week. This one is Chibi Girls. It is so cute. And then Nico Girls. Now seeing as how you're going to see this video before the flip through, <laughs> in the flip through I had mentioned that a lot of these characters looked like vampires because they all looked like they had vampire teeth. Um, for instance, like this. Not realizing Nico means cat. You know, with the ears. So yes, I realize now they have cat teeth. Um, I think I seen this on, was it Lauren? Was that you? <laughs> that was that was showing this book and it mentioned that Nico means cat and I'm like oh my gosh silly me <laughs> that's why their teeth are like that and they all have ears <sighs> okay so yeah when you see that flip through video and I'm sounding like an idiot yeah I now know why they have teeth and ears <laughs> okay and last from Coco Wild Flower Stained Glass. Oh, this book is beautiful. I love it. So I think this is one of their newer books. I haven't bought Coco Wild in a while. And then I seen some of these and I'm like, oh, those look cute. So, and I think this is the last of the new books, so you will see this next week. Also, Jennifer Rowling came out with a color puzzle book. This is very similar to the puzzle series, a clever puzzle series, I believe is what it's called, of Belba families. How many do they have in that series? Four, maybe? Four or five? Um, so this is the same thing where you follow the coordinates and you plot them on the graph with the specific color that they have over here. And when I showed this book in the flip through video, I do go through, um, for those who are not familiar with Belba Family's series of these books, um, how to actually color these. Now, another thing I pointed out in that video is the fact that they actually did give credit to Belba family for um, creating this type of book. So I love the fact that they're not just copying Belba's idea, right, and creating their own version. They actually are giving credit to Belba. So they must have contacted Belba, I am assuming, made sure it was okay to create their version. One thing that Belba, or that uh, Jennifer Rowling or Bright Ideas Paper Publishing did a couple things. And again, I mentioned this in the video, the flip through video. After these puzzles themselves, they also have a guide. Um, if you color in the picture with alcohol markers, of course, you're going to be covering up this for the next puzzle, right? So you almost have to work your way backwards like in some of the books you have to do <laughs> if you're using alcohol markers. They created a separate section that you can cut these out and these match these. So if you want to do this in alcohol marker, of course, number two is going to be covered up, but you can come back here and cut this one out um, and then use this. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then the next section actually gives you the answers. So I won't show them in case you don't want to see them. <laughs> so that's another nice feature. So again, Color Puzzle by Jennifer Rowling. Then Jade Summer has a new book out. It was called Country Summer. Really cute country pictures. And Tamita Victoria. 
Victoria. I thought this book was so cute. Chibi Princesses. There are two sets of images. It is very light grayscale. Very light. But there is a tinge to it on the character herself. I don't believe there's any well, there may be some. Yeah, I guess there is some light grayscale in the back. I noticed it mostly on the main character. But yeah, there is some in the flowers. But again, very light, light grayscale. I wish they would put a little bit more grayscale in their pictures, kind of like what Jade Summer does. I like that level of grayscale. But I guess by doing it this way, kind of just shows you where the shading should go if you want to go over it with colored pencils, right? Marker base and then use colored pencils. And Alicia sent me this book, Greetings from Limbo. And this is kind of a, a goofy Halloween book that also tells a story. So... As you're coloring, you can read the story, and it's broken up into chapters. Another newer book by Such and Such Deva, Cute Dinosaurs, color by number. And again, this book is so adorable. And more on the simplistic side, so very easy to color follows their standard color palette. And the new book that Camellia Angel Kova came out with, so of course I had to get it. And I have seen so many people coloring from this book, 50 Jungle Miniatures. This book is adorable. You probably have seen many flip throughs of it. And yes, I do have a flip through on my channel, of course. And yeah, if you're looking for links on any of these books, all the flip through videos I always have links to those books in the description. A couple more Color Questopia books that they came out with this past month. Boy, I mean, they just keep pumping out the books, don't they? And that is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to need a whole bookcase just for Color Questopia. <laughs> this one is Summer Color by Number. Really, really cute. People and kids just having so much summer fun. Look at that. Haven't gotten a chance to color out of this one yet. Or this one, Tattoo. Another really cute one. And again, you don't have to like tattoos to love this book. These pictures are just beautiful. I mean, here's a mandala. But look at these. Aren't they pretty? Look at it. <laughs> I just think they're so pretty. Oh, look at the horse. So, another new Jade Summer book this past month is Forest Animals. Again, really cute, cute book. <laughs> Our bat. So, all kinds of forest creatures. And another Color by Color books that Kira Shersneva came out with this past month is Country Life. And I have seen a lot of people coloring out of this book. It is another adorable Color by Color books um, from Kira. Okay. Uh, Rachel Mintz sent me their newest book. This is Angelic Beauties. It is a grayscale coloring book. And yes, these women are gorgeous. I think they have a new book that's going to be coming out um, that they will be sending me. But yeah, beautiful. And... Radu Frazi came out with a new book. Haven't heard from him in a while. Another adorable book. This one's called Big Little World. 
kind of a play on words there. But yes, all these little houses and yeah. Oh, another cute book. And finally, last but not least, one more <laughs> Spirals book. This one is Dog and Cat Friendship Spiral Glyphics. So these are all spirals. And I did do one in here. So this is all dogs and cats. Look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so that is my huge coloring book haul. I lied. I got one more thing. <laughs> Keep forgetting things. Um, Dottie Doodle uh, sent me this huge coloring poster. I recently did an unboxing of this and showed the entire thing. It came with that poster and it came with the set of markers. Um, and then also the guide and instructions on how to do it. I am getting ready to do a color and chat on this poster. So you will see it in action. But yes, so excited to do this. I started working on it earlier in the week. And oh my gosh, I was having so much fun. The markers don't quite fit in this case. I had this. Uh, plastic case. It was an extra one I had purchased a while ago and I had a different set of markers and I moved them so I decided to use this for the markers. Love this case. It comes in different sizes. Um, can't remember the individual's name who creates these but I'll go ahead and link this down below also <laughs> and again hopefully I'll remember all of this but yeah it has a nice carrying handle too. And you just, you know, snap them back shut and you can take them on the go. Um, but yeah, it didn't quite fit all my markers. So a couple of, couple of these markers are duplicates. And then um, I just have a couple of grays that didn't fit in here. So, um, and the black. Nope, black, I lied, is a duplicate also. And there's a lot of pink in here. So 198, they sent me two markers also. So yeah, I, it's okay. The vast majority of them fit in this nice case and it works so well when I am coloring on that poster that yeah, I decided to do it this way. Okay, now I am done. I think, let me, let me check. Hmm, okay, I don't see anything more. <laughs> well, actually, there's a lot more around here, but it's stuff I haven't gotten around to showing on the channel yet. <laughs> so you can look for that this next month. <clears throat> Never out of ideas for content on this channel. Never. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. It got much, much longer than what I thought it was going to be. But yeah, showing all the supplies. Yeah, I made it much, much longer than just showing the book. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my goodies, uh, including my supplies and books this past month. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Like I said, I got lots of new content coming up. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy coloring and seeing all the goodies, subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out those new videos. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys. <laughs>